You can be the best marketer in the world, but if your funnel lacks these four things, you will lose money on a daily basis. So in this video, I'm covering four business principles that I apply to every single funnel I built. I'm gonna correlate it back to OnlyFans management, but you can apply it to every single business out there. If you're a garbage truck company, if you're selling white supremacy t-shirts, it doesn't matter. As long as you keep these four things in mind, you are gonna make two to three times the money of your current marketing. The first point that I'm gonna mention is the KISS principle. Keep it simple, stupid. What do I mean by that? Especially in the OnlyFans market, a lot of people tend to distract the lead or the potential subscriber from his final destination, which is the OnlyFans profile. So a bad example on how your funnel looks, maybe it does at the moment, is you have your marketing source, let's say TikTok, you have an Instagram link, the Instagram is public, you have 50 different posts and subscribers scrolling through, seeing, oh, here's a nice bikini, wow, a beach, wow, now she's standing in front of a church, that's so interesting. Getting distracted because you want them to click on the link in your Instagram bio. Have the profile private, don't request this follower except, no, click on the link, nothing else to do. If he clicks on the link, most people have a snip feed or a link tree there, where there's the creator's TikTok and the Instagram again, her website, and then at the bottom, like there's the OnlyFans. So you're distracting, he's gonna click on every single link before he goes to the OnlyFans, because everyone has ADHD nowadays. So don't distract the guy. Keep it simple, stupid. Instagram, link in the bio, private profile, only the OnlyFans there, no cool emojis, no distractions, no animations, no. You're gonna click the OnlyFans link, that's what you're supposed to do. Don't distract the people from their final destination, otherwise you're gonna lose like 20 or 30% of possible customers because they are gonna, in the OnlyFans business for example, rather jerk off to your Instagram or go on your fucking TikTok again and they're out of the funnel again. So don't distract them, I know there are exceptions. If you have a branding or something, you can link some branding stuff there. But keep it simple, stupid, don't distract them. Additionally, as a second point, you want to have as little clicks from the lead as possible. Most of you who did dropshipping in the past already know that, but the less clicks the subscriber has to do to get to your profile, the more subscribers you're gonna get and the more likely it is that he actually spends his money with you, which is what you want. So don't have 50 different redirection sites and three different Instagrams. Make it very easy for him to find the link to the OnlyFans, to get there and to subscribe. It's a simple math and a simple logic thing. The more clicks he has to do, the more chance there is that, like I said, he gets distracted or something doesn't work. The more clicks he has to do, also there's more potential for the funnel to fuck up. Maybe if you link it through two different Instagrams with like a funnel IG and then a main account, what if one of those gets deleted? Now your entire funnel broke down and you're a little sleepy head through the night and for the next eight hours, you won't get any subscribers because you didn't know your funnel fucked up. So you want to make it as simple as possible. Less potential to fuck things up. Less clicks, the better. And this applies to any business, especially in dropshipping where you're figuring out the ad spend and the conversion and all the stuff make sure to make it as easy as possible. The third point is that authenticity is key. Here's where it gets really complicated because every creator has a niche and a brand identity. I've talked about this in numerous videos. You should know what brand identity means at this point. If not, check out the other videos I did. It's very, very important. Your funnel has enough authenticity now. How do we break that down? In the OnlyFans terms, for example, your creator has a volleyball branding. You portray your creator as a volleyball player. Like she goes out to the field, plays volleyball, has tricots and the whole clothing thing, whatever. Now, if you get people from TikTok, for example, onto the Instagram to get them to the OnlyFans in the next click, and on the Instagram, there's no volleyball stuff. She's just a random girl, maybe like you have football pictures uploaded there or whatever. It doesn't make sense, it's not authentic. And people think, is she really a volleyball player? Probably not, and they got lied to, which it's true, but they should know. So you have to make sure that your funnel has the authenticity. And also there's something even more important because on OnlyFans, usually you brand your creator, even if you don't say it out loud, but you brand your creator as average working class, working at Starbucks, 
or Burger King, some usual stuff. Because of course, if the subscriber thinks that the creator is like balling in Dubai with like watches and LV bags, he's not gonna spend his last money, is he? Because the creator got enough money. And you have to make sure to portray that. This is another authenticity thing. If you have an Instagram where people get on to find the OnlyFans link, don't post pictures of the creator in fucking Mykonos at an expensive restaurant that the people can Google with her LV bag and her ice all day just and all this different bullshit. And yes, this may seem super fucking retarded, but too many people do this on a daily basis. They just have an Instagram or a funnel where the creator portrays their luxury lifestyle and then they wonder why they're chatting and shit and they can't sell any content. Because most people think, bruv, this creator lives out here like fucking Dan Belzerian and I have to spend like $200 for titty videos. It doesn't make sense and they're just gonna fuck off. So make sure to have enough authenticity in your funnel to not annoy the lead, let's say, and to get him off the funnel because he thinks everything's a lie. The fourth point that I'm gonna mention is you always want to have an incentive to subscribe. You wanna give the lead a reason to spend money at the end of the funnel. Now, most of that happens in the front end. So in the marketing, before you get people in the funnel. So in OnlyFans management, for example, you want to make your videos on TikTok, your tweets, your Instagram reels, whatever it may be, sexual enough. So people are already horny. They think, okay, she probably looks good naked. Let me check the OnlyFans out. So you want to motivate people to go through the funnel and even more important, to subscribe to the profile. Now, I'm going to give you three different things that you can do to 100% make sure they're gonna subscribe. The first thing, like I said, is sexual content in the front end. So whatever you do, maybe Reddit, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram Reels, even if you hang flyers in the city with a link to the OnlyFans, make sure there is some sexuality involved. You can do basic mainstream content, that's fine. But if it's not sexual, why would anyone want to get on the OnlyFans? You haven't seen anything. You're not emotional enough to buy because this is what OnlyFans is. It's an emotional purchase. Yes, the emotion may be that you're fucking horny, but it's still not a logical decision to pay hundreds of dollars to see some titties. So you have to make the leads emotional enough to subscribe. You're gonna do that by being sexual, by pleasing him, by making him want to see more. And this happens by doing sexual content, even if it's just a very short outfit or it's a specific fantasy that you play into, maybe like a mill fantasy or a specific kink that you're, you know your audience likes. So you have to make sure to sexualize your content enough. The second thing is you wanna create FOMO. And this is where it gets a bit more complicated because there's loads of ways you can create FOMO, the fear of missing out in the subscriber's mind. What you can do is have an offer on the OnlyFans running that's only there for a limited time. Maybe it's only there for 24 hours or for the next 20 people, who knows. You can automate it with software anyway, he doesn't know that. But create some incentive to subscribe now and not think about it and Ah, oh, should I really spend these $3, man? Oh, I don't know. No, you have to subscribe now. Now is the time. Don't do it tomorrow. Then maybe the offer ended and you can't subscribe for this low price anymore. Have an incentive to subscribe. Another thing that you can do is tease some specific content on your page. This specifically gets relevant when you do Instagram stories or you have specific TikToks. You already have some kind of audience. Say, look, on the next 24 hours, everyone who subscribes gets this type of content sent to him or I just uploaded this thing on my feed, I'm gonna delete it tomorrow, so make sure to see it. You can do this when you already have an audience, especially on Instagram. This makes the people want to subscribe now. And like I said, it creates an incentive to subscribe. As someone who found her Instagram a while ago may see the story and be like, oh man, I'm not really into this OnlyFans stuff, but I really wanna see this shit. So he clicks on the funnel, goes in there, then there's an offer running. Oh, I even get to subscribe for half the price. Oh nice, here's the welcome message, I'm gonna chat. Oh no, I'm horny, oh no, my dick's out, oh no. And now he spends all of his paycheck. This is what you wanna do. So make sure you create FOMO by doing these simple things. And last but not least, the most important point, if you look at it from a logical perspective, is be active and don't be lazy. What do I mean by that in terms of funneling people? Always check your funnels, doesn't matter where you wake up, in what mood, if you're hungover from a party, if you're drained from training, you're sore, if you're tired, you only slept 30 minutes, fuck that. The first thing you're gonna do when you wake up in the morning is check your funnel. Look, click everything through, does the link work, can I subscribe, is the page selective, is, does the Instagram still exist? 
every day. You have to check your funnels multiple times. We are at a point where we hire people to do that. We have VAs checking every funnel every single day, reporting, ah, sir, this Instagram has been banned. This link doesn't work. Here, the link isn't displayed. We have to fix that because you never know what happens. We had this multiple times and to this day, if I think about it, it stinks because it was unprofessional. You go to sleep and some random TikTok goes viral, some tweet gets a shit ton of attention, some Reddit post gets thousands of upvotes, goes super viral in the subreddit, whatever it may be, it happens overnight, you wake up, you see 5 million views on some TikTok, and then you see, oh, why didn't we get any subscribers from that? What happened? Oh, the Instagram link to the TikTok account has been banned eight hours ago. And you lose thousands of dollars every single time if not tens of thousands of dollars. If you do five to six M views on TikTok, that's some certified money breath, that's a watch. So keep in mind to always check the funnels, don't be lazy, don't think, ah oh, yeah, they're probably gonna work because they always work until they don't. And trust me, you don't wanna wake up knowing that you lost like 20 grand just because you didn't check the fucking funnel before you slept. Make sure this doesn't happen. Have some systems within your agency that guarantee all the funnels are checked every single day multiple times. Whether you do it yourself, you hire someone to do it, or you have some software that does it for you. Doesn't matter as long as the job is done. If you need more insights into the OnlyFans management industry, you want to start, you want to scale your business, you don't know what to do, in the description there are two links to two different completely free ebooks that you can just download right now on your device, giving you an entire step-by-step -step breakdown on how to make the most money in the industry. And if that's not enough, you can join the 5,000 plus member Telegram community that I've created completely for free as well. You can just click the link, join, it's done, and get feedback from some of the most successful agencies in this space and from me as well. So I wish you a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.